Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Code Elevate. In the previous video, we created a full stack API to get the add details by the ID. And in today's video, we will create a full stack API to update the details of the add. So let's get started. So first of all, we will create the API in our Spring Boot application and we will open our customer service implementation and after get add by id method we will start writing another method and this method will return a boolean and we can name this method as update add and in the params of this method we will accept long add id and after this we will accept add dto and in this method first of all we will create one optional variable of add and we can name this as optional add and we will call our add repository dot find by id method and in the params we will pass add id and after this we will write one if condition and we will check our optional add and we will call is present method and if this add is present in our db then we will create an add and we will name this as add and we will call our optional add dot get method and after this we need to set the new details in our add so we will call add dot set service name method and we will use our add dto and we will call get service name and after this we need to update the description of the add so we will call set description method and we will use here our add dto dot get description and after this we need to set the price so we will call add dot set price method and we will use our add dto here and we will call get price method and after this we need to update the image so we will write one if condition and first of all we will get the image from our add dto by calling get image method and we will check if it is not equal to null then only we will update the image and in this if block we will call add dot set image method and we will use add dto dot get image and then we need to call get bytes method to get the byte array and after this we will call our add repository and we will call dot save method and we will pass our add and at the end we will write a return statement and we will return true from here and after this we will write the else block as well and if our add is not present then we will write return statement and we will return false from here and after this to use this get bytes method we need to add exception to the method signature so let's click here and with this our update add method is completed now let's copy this and let's open our company service and let's paste it here and after this we need to write the endpoint to call this method so we will open our company controller and here we will start writing a method and this method will return a response entity and we can name this as update add and after this we need to mention at the rate path variable annotation and we will mention long add id and after this we need to mention at the rate model attribute annotation and we will mention add dto we are not using request body because we want to get the multi-part file in our add dto like we are doing in the post add api call and here in this method we will declare a boolean variable and we will name this as success and we will call our company service dot update add method and in the params we will pass add id and add dto and after this we will write one if condition and we will check our success variable and if it is true then we will write a return statement and we will return response entity dot status and we will use http status dot ok and then we need to call build method 
and after this we need to write the else block as well and in this else block we will write return statement and we will return response entity dot status and we will use http status and we will return not found from here and then we need to call the build method and after this we need to add exception to method signature as well and at the end we need to add at the rate put mapping annotation on this method and for the url we will pass it as slash id slash add id and with this our update add api call is completed now let's open our main class and let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to our angular application and let's write a method to call this update add api and in our angular application to write the api method we need to open our customer service and here we will start writing a method and we will name this method as update id and in the params of this method we need to mention add id of type any and after this we will mention add dto of type any and this method will return observable of type any and after this we can copy these lines from our post add api method and we can paste it here and after this we need to update the http method which is the put and after this we need to pass our add id instead of user id so we will copy the add id from here and we will paste it here and with this our update api call is ready in our angular application now let's save this file and let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors and that's it for this video in the next video we will write the code in our update component to call this update api